to project. What do you expect? This ball is going to go straight. So will it just go straight horizontal? No, it will not describe that horizontal motion. The ball is not going to describe horizontal motion. So how the trajectory? The trajectory is something of like this. This is quite natural. And, and the ball, when it is here, it is going to strike. It will not strike vertically at certain angle. Hope that there's a very general thing. Then, then uh, the same ill, you may project the ball in some other way. Uh, it's a bit, it is not straight. Now we may project it. I may project the ball in such a way, oh, no, this should be there. Mm. So I may project the ball in such a way that it will be, I may project normal to the incline. Then, then in that case, it'll go and, and, and strike here. It can happen, no? Like this. So you do one thing. Just first, a student must have what will happen to it. Then the maths will come to prove that. Okay, uh, why only describe that particular part? Then mathematics will come. When you don't know that how the ball moves, tell me like a what equations will help you. Mathematics is going, not going to help you here. So before before starting this, so a student must have the basic analysis of this one. What is this? This is like a ill or anything it can be. So you start projecting it in different way. Uh, so similarly, sir, like a, uh, if I project it in I, I may throw a ball here with respect to horizontal, you can see it. Instead of throwing horizontally, I may, I may throw a ball in this way. Then, then the path of the ball, it, it may not go till there. It will come and strike here. So again, it will strike the yield at certain point. How it will strike, it all depends upon the conditions. So there are so many ways, are there, no? Uh, sir, uh, similarly, sir, like if you project I may project it in this way, no? How do it move? Well, why do it will just ascend, then descend, no? Why it will describe some any, any parabolic path? You throw from ground or you throw from anywhere. If you throw vertically up, When you throw vertically up, it's going to ascend, <coughs> then descend. It's not going to describe any parabolic path here. I think this is very important. The moment you see inclined project, in, inclined plane doesn't mean that it should move parabolic path. If I project it, it'll go straight here. So I think almost all four, four conditions is what I am just presenting here. When you throw it horizontally from a hill, as it'll come and strike some at the nearby bottom of the hill. I think this is called like a bottom of the hill. From the top of the hill, I project it. Then, then if I project it normal to the surface of hill, then also it's going to describe parabolic path. Now, somewhere uh, like a below horizontal, I'm projecting. You see there, it was like perpendicular to the incline, perpendicular to the surface here, below horizontal. This is horizontal and below that. So it's going to describe parabolic path and strike the somewhere near bottom of the incline. If I throw vertically up, it's not going to describe any projectile motion here. Just it will ascend, then descend. 
Fine. So in all these cases, this is a very much, it's a parabolic path. It's a very much a parabolic path. So first, first we, <laughs> it is not a parabolic path, straight line path. Like this, if you want to, you, you, you definitely, those students who find very difficult, you just do this experiment. At least you'll agree yourself, oh, this is what I'm studying here. Now, instead of this, the yield will not be there nearby your home. So what you can do is you can take help of his steps. Ram, so many things are there, no? Yeah. I, I, and let me project from here. So it's going to describe a parabolic path. And we'll strike it. I think most of the houses will have a steps. There won't be any problem. No, no, it is a problem. Okay, steps, there won't be problem. You can try this. Then, uh, then on same steps. I may throw a ball like this. Then it's going to describe. <laughs> Uh, now uh, you have to ask questions, sir. What makes, how to decide that, how it will move? Okay, sir, you are telling these things. Okay, we will accept you, we'll remember. But somewhere a numerical comes, how, how do I decide that, how it will move? How do I decide how it will move? Go back to the basics here now, what you learned here. Suppose if a body is having a velocity and acceleration, how do it will move? I think it's going to deviate from velocity, no? Already we have discussed, once again, you have to bring that into picture. This is what happens. For this year, the velocity is like this, and the acceleration is in this direction. What is acceleration? It is G. From where this, the weight, from where that acceleration will come, due to weight. Then what do you expect how this, how this will move? It is going to move, move in this. It should deviate from, it should not go like this. Huh? The, 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 it should deviate away from the initial velocity of projection able to understand this, it should deviate away from its initial velocity. So the path sh should be of this kind. Here's like it was deviating away from the velocity. It should deviate away from the velocity. Any reason for that? This acceleration will start imparting velocity along y-axis. So you know vectors very much. Okay, earlier that was only velocity. There was no velocity here. So because of velocity acceleration, it starts deviating. The reason for that, because along y-axis, the velocity starts, component of velocity starts increasing. So definitely it should move like this here. So you should not show like this. This, this will be very problematic. Means uh, like a, the uh, idea of vectors is what you should apply here. So actually I should not teach all these things. Answer, okay, we know vectors. With the help of vectors, we can analyze. There should be the reply from students. No, you should not do like this. This is something wrong. Path. What do you mean by velocity? Velocity be directed in the direction of path, no? You are moving like this, your velocity like this, not possible. The velocity should be directed along the path. Therefore, it cannot deviate here. And, and you should not say, sir, it will move like this. It should deviate from the path. Because, because of acceleration, it should be like this. It should be wrong to take like this also. It should be like this. Okay, I agree this one. So now, now in all these things, what was our basic thinking? The basic thinking is this one. Nearby that, at least I will uh, tell you the, there's a U, there's a G. So what do we expect now? It should deviate like this, no? I agree with this. I think this is a background one must have. If this background is not there, then you are simply accepting things. You are watching some cartoon network. <laughs> That's all. If you are not analyzing like this, actually, 
a student must analyze here. If you're not analyzing this, you're watching Cartoon Network. Now let's see that here also. Uh, this is for this it was G. So therefore the path should be should deviate. Okay, I think justified now. So in every projectile motion, you should come with this idea. How do it will move? How do it will move? As analyze once. After analyzing this, <coughs> then it will be in a better position. Okay, no, no, no need of remembering anything. But you, you must have a general idea. General sense must be there. Okay, agreed, no? So when you throw the, you're yeah, almost like some perpendicular two steps you are thrown, or gentle, you may throw like this then it will fall. This will be much easier. You can take some any object uh, in your room, which is a lighter one, that's a bit, and try to throw it and make observation or ask your uh, brothers, sisters who are there, ask them to throw and make observation. Ha have one's look of the things what you're going to study. You feel like when you go for numericals, no? you feel that confidence as I know most of the things. That is enough no, for us. Okay, this is about one way. Uh, we may project things in such a way like I'll, I'll generalize things so that it'll be easy for you. This will copy it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll from, from <coughs> somewhere bottom, I'll throw it in this way. Then how do it will move? It's, it is going to move in a, it, it, is, it is not projected vertically. Agreed, it is not projected vertically, you can see. So now similarly. I think there's only one case with that. If I project it vertically up, it will just ascend, then it will descend. There's no question of again, any parabolic path here. I agree this, this is a very simple condition. So this is called like a projectile of the incline. Now then uh, next situations, <coughs> if the, the, this is the ill, You may project somewhere from the ground, need not be from on the incline. Then, then it's going to this come and strike it. It can happen, no? There's one possibility or, or, or it can be off. where you are on one more cliff here. From this cliff, you are going to throw a ball and the ball is going to move in a path and come and strike it. It can happen. I think we are going to definitely come across so many situations of this kind. Or you may throw from here so that it'll go and strike it here. I think there is a no limit in discussing these things, I feel.
I'll make it small. One more last, I'll accommodate here only. Huh? Now there are two two wheels are there you are throwing from one wheel and the projectile will go and strike the other hill. So anything can happen. So let, let, let's be ready for all the possible situations. Then, then uh, there's another case. Like a, you may throw from a ill. <coughs> you may throw from a ill. Then the ball will go and strike the ground. There's also some few possible cases. In all the cases, this is G. I think definitely you, you must be ready for all these types of numerical. Don't get scared. We have enough mathematics to work out all these things. What is enough mathematics? Equations of motion. So who is the best friend in your kinematics? Equations of motion. Is the best friend. I am, I am, your teacher is not best friend because equations of motion is what helping in almost every numerical. So a student must have a background. What is that? The moment you encounter a numerical, you take help of your friend. Equations of motion. He is there to help you. Got this idea? This one? So I, I, some, some teachers are there. They're, they're really, we should appreciate them. They just say like, uh, apply equations of motion and you learn projectile finish work. The kind, entire kinematics is what? Applying equations of motion. And if acceleration varies, okay, take help of calculus and do all the problems. Okay, go away. They'll finish off in half an hour kinematics. They'll, many will say that how it is possible. I think it's possible, no? I also want to do, but <laughs> most of you will, <laughs> I think cancel admission or will ask me to will complain to college that is not teaching properly, you don't know anything. At the end of the kinematics, I'll definitely sure I'll ask you. There are only a few things like V equal to X by T. A equal to dv by dt equations of motion. Vab equal to va bar minus vb bar. I think more than this, I don't have anything here. The entire kinematics is only this much. You take anything. Uh, let's have it integration differentiation will come if there is a thing. But the whole kinematics revolves around this one only. So what is entire kinematics? How you, what you learned, how you apply in various cases. Uh, sir, what is there speaking? Within half an hour, you can say kinematics is over. You do problem, you'll come to know. That's what I'm telling this one. You want to become an engineer, you should struggle. But the teacher, the good teacher is one who will say that the entire kinematics is all about only few equations. At least at the end of the chapter, your teacher concludes like that, good is having a little bit some common sense and the students conclude this well and very good. Okay, there's a better future for the students. I uh, hope uh, in the end, <coughs> I'll say that <coughs> we are not learning to learn anything new. The same thing we applied again and again in different situations. If you really accept it, well and good. Okay, how to, uh, like, a, what are the things like in all these cases? After what time it will go and strike the ill? What is the range? With what speed it will strike? Because we have projected with speed u at t equals zero. 
then after some time till go and strike the in so that we call time of flight then something else i can ask the range or the distance from point of projection to point of striking what can be this then 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 the range time of flight so what are the things general things what i'll be asking like uh, what is this distance with what speed it will strike here after what time it will strike so many things are there you know which we can keep on asking things okay now let's answer all these things with help of the best sir, friends what we have ha huh. sir uh, you are projecting uh, uh, a particle from hill 1 to hill 2 no sir hmm there uh the point where it is striking is at the same level at the point of projection sir need not need not okay sir need not is it a rule like that huh? you might not play not throw any stones objects <laughs> i have thrown sir finish over that's all <laughs> is there any rule that the uh, these two should be at same level nothing no that's no, why sir. i'm asking you this one just just come to the realistic world it'll be all these things are very easy huh? okay i think uh, at least i tried my level best that what we are learning is not something new already you might have played when you were kid or now also will be playing it those things we are trying to give a mathematical reason with help of the physics what we know that's what we are trying to do here okay first will <coughs> that ill will be a little bit difficult to analyze so therefore what we do is like we'll go for the inclined plane see what is the use of all this so like most of the if you see the I, I, once again i'll repeating you like whenever war is there you no know, the war what will happen the army becomes very important and the army what will happen will have a cannon will have a cannon or what we can so like a like a missile should be launched and most of the enemy what happen will be on ill side so if i launch it it should go and strike sometimes they may be at the bottom there on the top then we have to launch the missile so that they they should go and strike sometimes we may be on the top of hill and and our enemy may be at the bottom and we should not permit them to climb up so i should launch the missiles i think there we need all this mathematics no so what all we are learning no this was needed in the warfare even though no, the warfare so therefore if you join the army no and if you are the in charge of that missiles launching or the cannons launching you must be very good in these things inclined projectile range everything that one because it matters a lot now realistic realistic now we are doing ideal with aeration what is the impact of that one so there the humidity matters temperature matters if it is raining matters if there snow it matters if any wind blowing it matters so all parameter the person who is launching there no you must be very good in all these things then all the accurate targets will be damaged i think definitely our nation needs highly skilled engineers no who really train the soldiers so that they can use that cannon so everyone cannot operate cannon the person who is operating cannon what will happen he should be skilled like this he, should, he must be he will be trained for all these things uh soldier means not singing song huh? like in most of the movies we see no we'll see them singing song okay that one there are also a lot of signs is involved that they're not that easy job huh? there also you need some brain to become soldier not like uh, sir I'll, i'll become i'll join indian army if you don't have knowledge what will happen the pakistan army will come and kill you <laughs> or some other country chinese army will come and kill you so you should be 